Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Alexandre Belmar from Kennedy Log with you for another podcast. And this week I'll be with you to give you some tips on how to easily manage your email if you are using a screen reader and Microsoft Outlook, especially for those who are using JAWS. Outlook is an application part of the Microsoft Office Suite or either Microsoft 365. Outlook can do much more than just managing emails, but this week we'll focus on that. I'll be with you to show you how you can easily organize your emails. You can uh, change the actual view for your uh, email folders, how you can perform some research in your emails. And also, I'll uh, give you a great tips on how to easily attach or save attachment when you send or receive some emails. So stay tuned and enjoy. Outlook is an application from the Microsoft 365 suite or the Microsoft Office suites that provide so many functionalities. Outlook can be used to manage your emails, your contact, your uh, task, your notes, your list, etc. We're not going to be able to cover in a single podcast all the functionalities of Outlook. But today, I'd like to focus on the email parts and give you some tips and tricks on the accessibility of this part, especially if you're using a recent version of JAWS. I'll give some uh, tips, especially if you begin with Outlook and if you just, let's say, set up your inbox, or even if you're an experiment user and would like to uh, improve the way you're using your Outlook. I will also provide some uh, tips on how to manage attachments when sending or receiving emails, because yes, there are uh, easier way to deal with that uh, compared to, uh, let's say, the uh, attach file option into Outlook, etc. So I'll be with you today to uh, give you a couple of uh, tricks on how to better use Outlook and to adapt the interface of it. For sure, if you have some other tips you'd like to share with us, uh, feel free to do so. Also, if you have some questions regarding a specific topic, well, let us know. Maybe we can do uh, another podcast on Outlook and then we can uh, base this podcast on your uh, suggestions and uh, for sure don't hesitate uh, also uh, don't forget that if you'd like to get some uh, private training on outlook we are always available to do so you can contact us at any time in order to get a quote I have already configured my email account into Outlook. I'm not going to be covering this part because there are several ways to uh, configure an email account. So the account the account is already uh, configured and set up. So I will just alt tab to reach out my inbox and we'll start working from there. Inbox dash log dash Outlook. I am now in the middle of uh, this new uh, inbox and nothing has been configured. So unread. let me move. Microsoft Outlook. Microsoft Outlook. Test. Unread. Attachment. Alexander Belmar. Group by colon. Expanded colon. Date colon. Last week. Exp well, so now I was using the up arrow key to navigate my messages. We saw that two messages are unread and at the top there is list box. Group by colon, expanded colon, date colon, last week. Exp a group by section, knowing that basically Outlook by default groups messages all together and creates some groups. And personally, I really don't like these groups as a lot of you may not as well. So we'll see how to remove these groups but let me go down. Attachment. Alexander Belmar. Here are some attachments for the podcast. Microsoft Outlook. Microsoft Outlook. Test. Strange. Both messages that were previously marked as unread are now marked as read. Why? It is simply because the reading pane is displayed on the screen. And to prevent that, I'll greatly suggest you to go ahead and turn off the reading pane. So, uh, without further ado, before anything, before uh, all emails got marked as red in the handbox, let me show you how to remove the reading pane. And this is something you may do at first when configuring a new email account uh, in order to uh, kept uh, messages that are marked 
as unread as is. So uh, let me first access the ribbon. So let me press the Alt key. Upper ribbon, ribbon, home tab. And then in order to find the view tab, I will press the right arrow. Couple Same of slash times. receive tab, view tab. Here it is. Then I can now go down to access the lower ribbon. Menu. Change view submenu. Here it is. If you're not seeing change view, it's probably because the ribbon is not properly expanded. In this case, just go ahead and press escape once or twice in order to exit the ribbon. Then try pressing Control F1 until you'll get a message saying that the ribbon is now expanded. Uh, for information, I am now using JAWS 2020. Um, so, uh, and we are able to uh, hear that the ribbon uh, is expanded or not. And yes, I am also using Microsoft 365, um, the most updated version. So uh, now the ribbon is properly expanded. So I'm now in the ribbon and I am on change view. We'll have to tab uh, a couple of times and I'll uh, let you know where we'll have to stop. Tab, current view submenu, alt follow tab, arrange by submenu, tab, reverse sort button not checked, tab, layout, use tighter spacing button not checked, tab, menu, layout submenu. Then here you have the layout submenu. So inside the layout submenu, if we expand it, we should be able to find out two different things. So let me expand it by pressing Alt down arrow. Alt down arrow, leaving menus, folder pane check submenu. So here's the folder pane, uh, which is uh, active and we'll keep it as is. Then let me press the tab key. Tab, reading pane check submenu. Here is the reading pane. It is check and again this is a submenu. In order to disable the reading pane, we'll have to expand again the submenu by pressing Alt down arrow. Open list box, right checked, Alt followed by V. And now right is check, meaning that the reading pane is displayed at the right of the screen. So let me press the tab key in order to find out tab bottom alt followed by V not bottom but the next one tab off alt which, followed by which V which is off so yes we'll go ahead and activate off by the way yeah I, I I cut off the speech but if we listen to it off to move through items press up or down arrow alt followed by V Y two R O so yes, there is a key sequence available in order to quickly activate this which is alt V, so Alt plus V, you need to do it uh, together, followed by the letter Y, followed by the digit number two, followed by R, followed by O. So yes, you can remember this key sequence, but to be honest, I think it's going to be easier to just go ahead and access the ribbon in order to deactivate the option. So let me click the off by pressing the enter key. Enter. Leaving menus, leaving ribbons, list box, Microsoft Outlook. My All right, so this option has been turned off. And leaving then, menus, list box. Yeah, I just pressed the up arrow. I don't know why we heard again leaving menu, but that's okay. Group by colon expanded attachment. So, Alexander Belmar, Microsoft. My messages, uh, my emails are here. Then let me select a couple of them. I will uh, mark them as unread. So uh, in order to select emails, you can use uh, shift plus up or down arrow if you want to uh, select a continuous email. Otherwise, uh, you can also use the control uh, arrow keys and uh, mix with the uh, control space bar function. So let me select... Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Outlook, unread, Google, alert AD. Okay, I have a couple. In order to mark emails as on red, you need to press control U. Control U. There we go. And by the way, for information, if you want to mark emails as red, you can uh, use control Q as in Quebec to mark them as red. So now if I press the up arrow. Unread, Microsoft Outlook. Unread, attachment, Alexander Belmar. Here are some attachments for the podcast. Group by colon. And there it is. Unread, attachment. Then unread. If I go Microsoft down. Outlook. Microsoft Unread. Google. Alert 86. Unread. Microsoft Outlook. Unread. Attachment. Alec. They are still marked as unread. And by the way, note that if you disable the reading pane, you might be able to navigate your inbox faster. Or yes, I said your inbox, but any emails folder as well.
Next step, we'll have to go ahead and remove groups. In order to do so, what I'm going to suggest you is within your inbox, group by colon, unread, attachment. Make sure your focus is on an email. Then make sure to unselect all the emails in your inbox or the, the, the folder you're uh, working in by pressing control space. Control space. Nothing is confirmed seeing that emails has been unselected, but the action has been processed. And if you're not sure, by just calling the context menu, you'll see that options are completely different depending if an email is selected or not. So in order to change the group by settings, what I'll have to do is to call the context menu. Two ways are available to uh, call a context menu. Keep in mind you can either press the application key or you can also use Shift F10. So let me press the application key. Applications. Menu. To move through items, press up or down arrow. A. Arrange by check submenu. All right. And then the first option in the menu is arranged by. Uh, let me uh, just uh, go down to see uh, the other options. Add columns. Group by box. B. Sort dot dot dot. There is an option. Yes, I skip it. Sorry. Group by box. B. Which is called group by box. This is not linked with uh, the groups we're talking about. This is something completely different. So let me continue going down just to show you the other options. Sort dot dot dot. R. Sort. Filter dot dot dot. Filter. View settings dot dot dot. View v. settings. New email. E. Arrange okay. by check submenu. And we're now back to arranged by. So uh, the options allowing to turn off grouping is located in the arranged by some menu. So let me expand this one by either pressing the enter key or the right arrow. Let me press the right arrow. Leaving menus, arrange by list box, date button selected. All right, and here we have several different options allowing to organize or to arrange emails. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'll just up arrow a couple of times menu view settings dot 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 this is not the one show in groups checked w show in groups it is now checked so in order to uncheck it knowing that i'm inside a menu i will press the enter key enter leaving menus inbox dash can a dialog dash outlook list box to move to an item press all right so i am now back inside my inbox folder so let me use arrow keys Unread. Microsoft Outlook. Mi so here's the Microsoft Outlook. Let me go up again. Unread. Attachment. Alexander Belmar. Here are some attachments for the podcast. Friday 2020-08. Then let me go up again. No more group. I just heard a sound saying you're at the top of the folder. So uh, groups are now gone. And uh, if you observe, we'll uh, have a look to the dates. Unread. Attachment. Alexander Belmar. Here are some attachments for the podcast. Friday, 2020-08-14839 p.m. So this uh, email, which is the first one in the uh, folder, was sent on August 14. Then if I go to the end by pressing the end key. End. YouTube Alexander Belmar has subscribed to you on YouTube. Friday, 2016-10-21354 p.m. And this email is dated from 2016. So the most recent email is at the top of the folder. If I press the home key, I'll get back to it. Home, unread, attachment, Alexander. And the older one is located at the end of the folder. For some users, uh, you may prefer to uh, find out the most recent email at the hand of the folder instead of at the at the top and then if you arrow hop uh, you'll uh, go to the uh, older emails so if you want to uh, change the order you'll have to go again inside the ribbon into the view upper ribbon ribbon view tab so i just press the alt key the focus has been uh, placed on the view because, well, uh, this is the uh, last menu we accessed. So I just need to press arrow down in order to access the lower ribbon. Menu, change view submenu. And then I can press tab. We saw a prior in this podcast, an option. 
Tab, Current View Submenu, Alt Tab, Arrange by Submenu, Alt followed by V, right. Tab, Reverse Sort button not checked. Reverse Sort. So here it is. So if you want to reverse it, and this is personally what I prefer, I will just press Enter in order to check it. Enter, Leaving Menus, Leaving Ribbons, List Box, Unread, Attachment. All right, and then let me press the Home key. Home, YouTube Alexander Bellamer has subscribed to you on YouTube. Friday, 2016-10-21-354 p.m. That's fantastic. So this is the older message. And then if I press the hand key. End. Unread. Attachment. Alexander Belmar. Here are some attachments for the podcast. Friday, 2020-08-14839 p.m. And this is one of the newer message I got. Even if you change the view of a specific folder, you may observe that some folders may not follow these changes. So let me show you how it looks like. So uh, keep in mind, by the way, that if you want to change folders in Outlook, uh, you can press the command control Y to access a folder list, then just press enter on the folder you'd like to open. Also, I uh, will uh, see it later. You can also press from a folder content like the inbox. You can press Shift F6 in order to access the folder tree view and then select another one by pressing Enter and F6. But you'll see that the easiest way will be to use Control Y. So let me press Control Y. We'll go ahead and select another folder. Control Y. Go to folder dialog, tree view, inbox colon 97 unread messages, left paren 97, right paren unread messages. Okay, so go to folder. I am now placed on my inbox knowing that this is my current folder. Then I will uh, press down arrow in order to see all the folder in the account. By the way, just to mention, if you have several uh, Outlook accounts, then you can also go up. Can a dialog open? And then you'll see the account name. Then uh, you can you can uh, close this one by pressing the left arrow key. Then if you go down after, you should uh, see the other account you may have, uh, up or down, by the way. And then you can expand the desired account by pressing the right arrow. So here I have only one account. So let me go Level down one. again. Inbox colon ninety seven unread messages. Left paren ninety seven right paren unread mess. So okay, here's the inbox. Left bracket Gmail right bracket open. So here uh, is the uh, Gmail folder, which is open because... Left bracket, Gmail, right bracket, closed. Now I closed it, but uh, yes, by default, it is closed. If you want to expand a subfolder in an account, a subfolder that contains more subfolder, you can press the right arrow. Left bracket, Gmail, right bracket, open. Then you can continue going down. Level two, drafts, one of six. And now we are at the level two, so draft. Send mail, trash. Important colon 25 unread messages. Left spam. Starred. Level 1. Browillens. And now, yes, this is, sorry, a French folder name, but we're now back to the level 1, uh, which is uh, the same level as the inbox. Calendar left paren is computer only right paren. And then I have uh, several other folders. Let me uh, find Important back the... trash. Sent mail. Sent mail. Enter. I'll press enter here. To List box. select the folder. Unread. There Can we go. Dialogue. Microsoft Outlook. Group by colon expand. And then you see that some groups are still present. So let me show you how to fix this. Sometimes it may work, sometimes it is not, depending the type of folders. It's really depend, especially like for exchange account, it might be helpful. Depending the type of IMAP account you might have, it might be working. So let me go control back to y. my inbox. Go to folder dialog. Oh, no, TV. I'm not going to press control Y. I want to show you the other method. Send so mail. Uh, let me press escape. Then I am back into my send mail. As explained before, I can press shift F6. Shift F6. Can a dialog open? Left bracket, Gmail, right bracket, open. Send and then I am in my uh, folder pane list or the folder tree view. Then I can just press up arrow. Level three, drafts. Level two, left bracket, Gmail, right bracket. Inbox colon 97 unread messages. By the way, what is the difference between using the uh, Shift F6 and reaching the 
a folder tree view instead of using Control Y, which is go to folder. It is simply because if you use Control Y, you're not going to be able to perform any action on a specific folder by calling the context menu by using the application key. And the folder tree view or the folder pane, then yes, you'll be able to perform an action on a folder by calling the context menu. So let's have an inbox. I just want to, con menu. to call the to context move menu. Re new folder dot dot dot. I can create a folder. Rename folder unavailable. Yes, I can also rename a folder. However, this is unavailable knowing that uh, we are on the inbox. Copy folder. Move folder on a delete folder on a mark all read. Clean up folder. Etc. 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 So let me press the escape. So keep in mind that if you use Control Y to go to a specific folder, you're not going to be able to find out any options in the context menu because the context menu does not exist. So I am still in the inbox. Mail folders tree view inbox colon ninety seven. Then I will press enter in order to select it. Enter. And then I will press the inbox dash key. Log dash outlook list box unread. Oh, no need uh, because okay, now the focus has been placed back inside the hint box. If it is not the case, then I press and I press the F6 key in order to find back the uh, folder contents. So now uh, we were uh, good to go. Uh, sometimes yes, uh, this is sometime uh, something that uh, may happen as well. The focus will be uh, placed back automatically in the desired folder. Okay, so uh, in order to um, ask Outlook to uh, use the same view for all folders, it may work except if another uh, layout has been uh, selected or another view has been selected for some other folders. We'll uh, cover this case later on. But uh, let me go into the ribbon again. Upper ribbon, ribbon, view tab. Uh, yes, in view again. So let me expand the lower ribbon, pressing down arrow. Menu, change view submenu. Here is change view. So I will expand this menu. Alt down arrow. Alt down arrow. Change view table. Hide messages marked for deletion button selected. And then let me uh, press the tab key. Tab, menu, leaving menus, manage views dot dot tab, save current view as a new view tab, apply current view to other mail folders dot dot dot. Apply current view to other mail folders. So let me select this, pressing enter. This is not a menu dot 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 mean that it is a dialogue. Enter, leaving menus, leaving ribbons, can a dialogue, tree view, can a dialogue open checked, checked to move. All right, and now I am a place on my account name which is checked. Uh, why it is checked? Because if I go down... Level 1, inbox colon 96 unread messages, left paren 96 right paren unread messages, not checked. Left bracket Gmail right. Because here you can check or uncheck the desired folder. So Level 0, can a dialog, checked open. Let me uh, go back to can dialog which is the root folder of my account. Then let me press the tab key. Tab. Apply view to subfolders checkbox not checked. And we'll make sure to check this checkbox. Apply view to subfolders. Space. Checked. Here it is. Then let me press tab. Tab. OK button. To, to active. click the OK button. Space. Inbox dash Canada log dash outlook. And uh, the command has been processed. So let's check the result. I will find out another folder. So using control Y. Control Y. Go to folder dialog. All right. Let me go down. Send mail. Trash. Well, let me just show you for fun the trash. Enter trash dash Canada log dash outlook list box Alexander Google alert titty say. I'm going now up. Alexander. Okay, yeah, only two messages, but no groups here. It seems to be fine. Um, let me show you maybe another one. We'll go back uh, into control the sent one items. Send mail draft of the sent, sent mail. mail. Yeah, Enter. okay. Maybe this one will not going to be compliant. List box. Attachment. Podcast with, at with the changes we just made. Let me check this out. Canadi Attachment. Let Home. me go at the top. Canadi log. Of, group by colon expand. Yeah. Okay. In fact, yeah, this is not uh, compliant. The, the the view was not applied. Okay. Let's Attachment. see why. Let me go back to the hint box. Control, Control y. y. Go to folder. Drafts. Level one. Left bracket. Gmail. Right. Inbox. Colon ninety six. Inbox. Enter. Let me uh, validate this. Just want to show inbox you. Inbox dash can a dialog dash outlook. We're just going to compare the view that are used in the inbox compared to uh, the folder where the uh, changes did not apply. 
let me open ribbon. Alt the followed ribbon. by V. Upper ribbon. Ribbon. View tab. The view tab. Menu. Let me change go down. View, sub -me then expand the change view menu by pressing Alt down arrow. Alt down arrow. Change view table. Hide messages marked for deletion button selected. Okay, and it seems that the view here is hide messages marked for deletion. Let me uh, go uh, left or right using arrow keys. We'll see the available view here. I'm at messages button. So I'm at messages not checked. Hide messages marked for deletion button selected. Group messages marked for deletion button. So really? Hide messages marked for deletion button selected. It seems that the view, the selected view is hide messages for, marked for deletion. Escape. So let me Leaving go menu. out of menu. this. Escape. Then Leaving menu. Escape. Let me go again in my sent mail. Control Y. Go to folder. Level 1. Left bracket. Gmail. Right bracket. Open. Level 2. Sent mail. Enter. And we'll see there what is the current view mode. List box. Attachment. Podcast. So let me. Upper ribbon. Ribbon. View tab. Menu. View. Change view. Alt change down arrow. View. Change view table. Sent to button selected. Ah, uh, this is because the actual selected view is sent to. So let me try to use arrow keys. IMAP messages button. Okay, to move here's the, the IMAP. Hide messages marked for deletion button. And hide messages marked for deletion. Enter. Let me press enter Leaving to menus. select this Attachment. view. Home. Alexander Belmar F. And let me check no more Alexand groups. Okay, and sounds Microsoft to be good. Alrighty, so uh, let me Attachment. check. Attachment, Home. What is the first Alexander message? Alexander Belmar, FWD, colon incorrect, Google Plus page URL, Tuesday, 2017-04-25-12. Okay, 2017, sounds good, look good. Uh, let me press the hand key. And Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Outlook, test message, Friday, 2020-08-14. Yep, so uh, most recent message is now located at the hand. So if a folder is not using the predefined view we did, uh, then uh, even after apply view to other folders, just go ahead, open this folder, and in the change view menu, make sure to select the same view as the uh, hint box used. So uh, let me go back to the hint box. I will uh, use a shift F6 just for now. We'll see. Shift F6. Can I do level three, level two, left inbox. I'm colon. going up. Enter. Then I will press enter. And F6. Then, List. And then I'm now back into my uh, inbox content. So in the list box, everything seems to be fine at this point. Next thing I'd like to show you is how to ask Outlook to show you a specific folder when uh, launching Outlook. Um, it might be very useful in the case you may have several different email accounts and want to make sure the focus will be placed in the right inbox. In order to do so, I will access the file menu, Alt F. Alt F, backstage view, file list box. By the way, the file menu is located immediately at the left of the home tab in the ribbon. Then Open an let me Save that. go Save it. down and I should find out options. Office account, feedback, options. Next time, keep in mind that you can also press Alt F followed by the letter T as in Tango to quickly access the options. So let me press enter. the enter key. And in the options, uh, we are now in a category. General, one of 13. In a list, okay. Uh, general is selected by default. So let me press the down arrow key until I'll find out the advanced options. Mail, calendar. People. By the way, in mail, uh, you can uh, define your own signatures and uh, things like this. Tasks, search, language, ease of act, advanced. Advanced, here it is. So let me press the tab key and we'll find out a browse button. Tab, advanced, outlook panes, navigation dot 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 button tab. Reading pane dot 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 tab, Outlook start and exit, browse dot 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 button. Outlook start and exit, and here's the browse button. If I use the JAWS cursor to check what the uh, browse button is related to, let me root JAWS root to JAWS PC. Root scan to PC. Okay, yeah, uh, JAWS scan, okay. Inbox. And then start out let me press the up arrow. Outlook start and exit. Outlook start and exit. And start Outlook in this arrow. folder. Okay, so start Outlook in this folder. Then if I press the down arrow again. Inbox. Here is the inbox. So uh, Outlook is now uh, starting 
in the inbox. Let me uh, get back into uh, PC cursor by pressing numpad plus. PC cursor. Okay. And if I click the browse button. Enter. Select folder dialog, tree view, inbox colon 95 unread messages. And here is the tree view of all my folders. So if I want to change inbox or uh, let's see, uh, I want to be uh, funny and want to make uh, Outlook start in the trash folder, for example, no interest. But anyway, then Level I zero. can just can dialog. use up and down the arrow. Dash can dialog. Open. Here is the Kenny Dialog account. So if I close this account by pressing the left arrow, can a dialogue close? Then I can uh, also go down and find dialogue? out some other account if I may have. Unfortunately, I don't. To dash do list. Or I can go up, uh, and here are a local folder that I don't care at this point. Can a dialogue? Let's say I want to uh, access Can a dialogue, then I can uh, arrow right on it. Can a dialogue? Level then one. I can inbox, go down. Colon 95. And then on the inbox, then I can press the enter key to select. Enter. Advanced, Outlook start and exit, browse dot 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 button. There we go. So the the hint box under Kenny Dialog was selected. It was already, but anyway, it's just to show you. Then I'll press back tab or shift tab a couple of times in order to find out the uh, safe or shift okay tab. button. Shift tab, shift tab, I think cancel button, to active, shift tab, Oops. advanced, up tab. OK button. Yeah, OK, OK button, sorry. So let me click the OK button Space. to validate my choice. Inbox dash Canadian. So each time you're going to open Outlook, the focus will automatically be placed into the inbox. Also, uh, keep in mind that if you want to quickly find your handbox from uh, somewhere else, let me find another folder just Control to show you. Left bracket G Browlins. Um, Level 2, Drafts, 1 of Enter. Let me access the draft folder, for example. Drafts dash. There it is. Then if I want to get back to the inbox, it's going to be, by the way, not the inbox necessarily attached to this account, but the inbox attached to the default account, uh, which you can manage into the file menu, then info. Uh, but in this case, I have only one account. So the default inbox is for sure my inbox. So if I press Control Shift I, I as an in inbox, the focus will be automatically moved into the inbox. So Control Shift I. And Control Shift I. Inbox dash can a dialog dash outlook. So the focus has been moved out uh, into my inbox uh, without any more effort. Next step, I'd like to uh, show you. If we create a new message, we reply to a message, we forward one. Let me uh, create a new message by pressing Control N as a new. Control N, untitled dash message left paren HTML right paren to edit. And by default, the focus is into the to field. Then let me press the tab key. Tab, CC edit. The CC for a carbon copy. Tab, subject edit. Subject. Tab, edit. And finally, the uh, message body. Well, uh, the BCC for blank carbon copy is not there. What is a BCC for those who don't know? If you add someone in a BCC and if you send a message, other uh, recipient of this message will not going to be able to see the name of the, the persons you've put in BCC. Uh, for sure, the person uh, in BCC will receive the message. Uh, for sure, this person will know that you probably uh, address the message. But uh, other recipient of the message will not going to be aware of this uh, compared to the traditional CC, which is the carbon copy. If you put someone in CC, all recipient of the message will be aware that you have put someone in CC. So if you want to send out an email privately to someone, add this person in the BCC field. So how should I make sure that the BCC field will be uh, activate? I need to do it once, not for all messages, but as soon as you do it once, you should be able to see it in uh, all uh, messages you'll be uh, writing. So uh, I'll go ahead and open the ribbon, pressing Halt. Upper ribbon, ribbon, message tab. And we'll have to find out uh, using the right arrow. Insert tab. Options tab. Options. So let me go down. Menu. Theme submenu. And I'll have to press tab until I'll find out more commands. Tab. Colors tab. Fonts tab. Effects tab. Page call tab. Use voting tab. 
Message options dot tab menu leaving menus more commands option sub menu. Here it is. This is a sub menu. I'll have to expand using alt down arrow open list box leaving menus leaving ribbons to navigate press up or down arrow alt followed by P B menu BCC to move through I and here's the BCC just to show you what's in there as well. Let me press the tab key tab from alt followed by P tab request a delivery receipt tab request a read receipt. Q so you know you can also request a delivery or read receipt. Well uh, this is quite an old feature because especially for the delivery receipt uh, this one is a proof of delivery that will be sent out by the server of the recipient and as of today not a lot of server are sending these because due to the spam uh, let's say uh, you receive a spam your server sent out the uh, delivery receipt asked by the spammer then uh, you'll uh, confirm to the spammer that your address exists so this is not a good idea regarding the read receipt then uh, this one can be uh, sent out the email software used by the recipient may prompt him to uh, send out the reading confirmation which is something optional so even if you ask it you'll not necessarily receive it so uh, to be honest there's no absolute confirmation you may ask in the case you really need to know if an email was read because even if you do so this is optional and you know uh, some uh, email clients are sending them automatically even if the user yes maybe the user can open the email but you don't have any guarantee that uh, the email will be uh, <laughs> properly read so uh, well uh, personally this is quietly an obsolete feature tab. anyways save sent item to tab delay um, delivery D. delay delivery delay delivery sorry uh, yes this is something uh, really useful in case you want to send out an email you want to prepare an email and make it sent at a delayed time uh, then uh, you can do it however make sure that uh, if you select this option then enter a time and date your uh, outlook program will uh, remain open at the time the email should be uh, sent out otherwise it's not going to work tab direct reply Replies to I. Direct replies to yes. Uh, this is a feature to change uh, replies option. Tab. This Message is options dot, dot dot tab BCC. And I'm back to BCC. So uh, in order to check BCC, let me just press the enter key. Enter. Leaving menus. Untitled dash message left for an HTML. Here it is. So uh, I am now into my email buddy. Uh, for sure, I can just shift press tab. shift tab. Subject edit. Shift tab. BCC edit. Shift tab. CC edit. And here we can notice that between the CC field, which is the carbon copy, and the subject one, a BCC field was added. All right, then uh, I can uh, discard this message. So let me press Alt F4. Alt F4. Inbox dash can a D log dash. And then if I create a new email, pressing Control N. Control N. Untitled dash message left paren HTML right paren to edit. We'll just double check that the field is still there. So two pressing tab. tab. CC edit tab BCC edit and uh, yes it is still available so the BCC field has been added for all future messages you'll be writing being in a new message window well uh, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, attach or easily attach some file uh, to an email so shift tab CC edit let type me in first, shift tab uh, to edit Type in text. This is optional, but I will do it. Let me um, P O D a two address. A T S. That field is not available in this particular at. Whoops, sorry, I, I pushed the wrong at sign. C A O period. Tab. Tab. C C edit. Tab. B C C edit. Tab. I don't have subject edit. So, oh, that's okay. Test. T S T tab. And then test dash message left paren HTML right paren here. Uh, by pressing tab again, I can uh, write down my uh, message buddy. A E L O comma enter T A S I S A T E T period enter enter A L E enter. And then, if I want to attach some file to my email, then I can go for sure 
into the insert menu, then finding attachment. Let Upper me ribbon. do it just ribbon. to show you. Message tab to switch pages. So in the ribbon, let insert me go right, menu. insert, attach let me file go down. dot 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 sub menu. Attach file. This is a sub menu, so let me expand. Hold down arrow. Leaving Alt menus, arrow. attach file dot 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 list box, recent items, horse dot jpg. And now we are shown with uh, recent used items. This is not what I want. I need to press shift tab in order to find browse this PC. Shift tab, menu, browse this PC dot dot dot. There we go. Then if I press the enter, enter. key Leaving on menus. this, menu. file moment, name, there we go. Combo to okay. move through and now I am in a dialogue uh, comparable to uh, what we saw in the open and safe dialogue. So if I, if I press shift tab twice, shift tab, leaving menu, shift tab, not selected custom office templates. I am for sure into uh, my uh, pearly document folder. Then I can use, let's say, backspace. Uh, by the way, F4 to double check where I am. F4. Let me do it just to show you. Address combo box, documents. To change the selection, Here use the is. arrow keys. D, then address F6, set a combo, three documents, F6, One, F6, two, three. F6, shell folder view, items view multi-select list box, not selected custom. And then for sure I can select a file and things like this. But, well, um, hmm. I think it's a bit long. Let me show you something better. Escape. Let me press escape. Test dash message left paren HTML right paren. We're now back into the email body. Let's say I want to attach a file. Let me open my Windows Explorer as uh, I'll do normally to open a file or just to browse my folders. Pressing Windows E. Windows E. This PC. I there we go. Desktop. Let me uh, Two of find seven. out documents. my documents Enter. folder. This PC in my document, let's say I have a test.mp3 files that I'd like to attach. T, not selected test.mp3, 11 of 11, test.mp3. So I press the letter T in order to find out test.mp3. Let me press Ctrl C. Copied selection to clip. To copy, Alt tab. Alt tab, test dash message left paren HTML right paren. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. Test dash message left paren HTML there right paren. Ctrl V. Pasted from clipboard. There it is. If you want to check which files are attached to your email, you can then press Shift Tab. Shift Tab. Test.mp3 one megabyte. One. From the email body for sure. Or uh, I think from 0 0.26 centimeters blank. Elsewhere, you can uh, also press Insert A to test. Test. Mp3 yes, one megabyte. Correct. Note, by the way, that this option, Insert A, only applies to JAWS. If you're using NVDA, uh, then you'll have to use the uh, Shift Tab commands. Uh, this is not a choice. Well, uh, being in the uh, file list, you can perform some actions on the file. So, um, for example, I can call the context menu by using application key or Shift F10. Applications. Recent items, horse.jpgc, colon backslash. Upload checks. Open. Oh. Then I can open. Upload checks. Submenu. Yeah, I can uh, upload the files to another location. Quick, save it. Quick print. Save as. Remove attachment. Yes, yeah, so I can Cut. remove the attachment. See. Copy. Paste. Select all. A open. O there we go. So escape. Let Leaving me press menus. Escape. Test dash message left paren HTML right paren. Form regions. Dialog. Attached. Test.mp3 one megabyte. Unfortunately, there's no way compared to some other mail clients, as far as I know, to rename F2. a file. If I press F2, there's no way to, to do so, unfortunately. I know Thunderbird allowed this, but not Outlook. But by the way, Thunderbird is not allowed to uh, use the copy paste to attach some files. So let me press the tab again. Tab key again, yes, to uh, get back to my uh, email body. Blank. Let's say I want to attach another file. Alt tab, then let documents. me find to move back to my Windows Explorer. There it is. Um, Explorer let's pane. see, I want to go into Picture my shift OneDrive. Tab. Preview. My OneDrive. Level one. This PC, level um, one. OneDrive closed. Enter. Here it is. So I press tab. Uh, shift tab Items because view. I know it's faster. Can a dialog. Then one of enter. let's see Can a dialog. Can a dialog. I let me end. go at the end. Zoom text keyboard instruct. Zoom text flyer dot PDF. Let's say I want to attach Attach a zoom text flyer. Let me press Control C. Copied selection to call tab. Alt message. Tab, control V. And then uh, if I press uh, Shift tab. Shift tab. Attached. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. Test.mp3 one megabyte. One of two attached. Here it is, two attachment now. So test.mp3, by the way, if I want to navigate between attachments, then I can press the right arrow key. Zoom text or flyer. The left arrow. So yeah, the test. The test. Zoom text flyer PDF six and the Zoom text flyer. So just by using copy paste, 
you press Ctrl C on a file, then you press Ctrl V to paste, uh, you can save a lot of time. So uh, even you can uh, also into the uh, Windows Explorer, select multiple files at the same time, press Ctrl C, then in your email body, just press Ctrl V. So it's going to be much faster instead of having to go and browse several times, especially if your files are in uh, a few separate folders. Note, by the way, that uh, it may not work with some exchange servers, so um, be aware of this. Uh, but uh, if you're using like a Gmail account, uh, if you're using a personal Microsoft account, or uh, e even some exchange, it just depends like the, uh, the security rules uh, in the enterprise you're working for. But in the majority of situation, just using Ctrl C on a file in the Windows Explorer, then Ctrl V in your email body may works. And uh, just make sure that everything is uh, well attached by either using insert A or a shift tab from the uh, email body. I'm now ready to send my email, uh, so I can press control enter. Control enter, can a dialogue, items view multi-select list box, zoom text flow. Okay, and now I'm back into my uh, Windows Explorer window. It is simply because it was the last shown window on the screen. And then uh, we uh, were back to this one. Note, by the way, that uh, after pressing Control Enter, you may also receive a prompt asking if you are sure you want to uh, send out uh, your email. In this case, uh, if you find out this prompt annoying, just press the tab key until uh, you find out the checkbox, don't show me again, then uh, press tab and click the OK button and this uh, prompt will no longer be uh, shown when pressing Ctrl Enter to send an email. Let me get back to my inbox. However, before doing this, I will just uh, press backspace to exit the uh, Kenny Dialog uh, folder in my OneDrive, but I just want to keep the OneDrive open. Items view multi-select list box, Kenny Dialog. Perfect. Title is OneDrive. Excellent, so I'm back in my OneDrive. Let me press the Alt-Tab key. Alt-Tab, inbox dash Kenny Dialog dash Outlook, table, from Google, subject owner Titty say. Let me find uh, one of the last email in the inbox, pressing the hand key. And unread, attachment, Alexander Belmar. Here are some attachments for the podcast. And this is a test message I've uh, sent me out just to uh, show you how to uh, retrieve some attached files. So pre let me press enter. Enter. Here are some attachments for the podcast dash message left paren HTML right paren. Message has eight links. Here All are right. Plan. Here are multiple files. So by default, when opening a message, I'll be placed in the message body. Plan. Alexander Belmar. By the way, just before we talk about attachment, I'd like to show you a couple of useful shortcuts that you may use to uh, quickly find information when reading a message. Especially, you can use Alt-1 up to Alt-0. Uh, these are uh, commands of JAWS allowing to get more information on the uh, heading of the message instead of using a shift tab or tab. For example, if I press Alt-1. From colon Alexander Belmar less Alexander dot Belmar at canadialog.com greater. This is my uh, professional my professional email address, Alt-2. Sent Friday 2020-08-14839 p.m. That's the date when the message was sent, Alt-3. To Canadialog. Alt-4. CC. Subject here are some attachments for the podcast. So uh, the CC field is empty. BCC. The BCC for sure will be empty. Well, uh, except uh, if I'm uh, writing a message, by the way, these commands also work when uh, sending a message. That field is not available in this particular okay, dialogue. Okay, so now some fields are unavailable. That field is not, that field, that field is not available in up to zero, etc. Also, uh, keep in mind that uh, you can press, let's say uh, I want to go to the uh, date field, then I can press Alt-2 to ear it. Sent Friday 2020 day. But if I want to bring the focus there, I can press Alt-2 twice. Sent read only edit. Friday 2020-08-14839 p.m. And then F R I space two zero two zero. I can read it character by character. Also, uh, if I want to get back to the uh, email body without any effort, 
I can just press Alt with the grave accent. This key is located immediately at the left of the key number one on the alphanumeric keypad, which is located at the top of the letters. So, you know, uh, at the top of Q, W, E, R, T, Y, you'll find out a row with numbers. The key at the left of the one so just usually depending the model of keyboard you may have, but normally just under the escape key, you may find out this key. So uh, let me press it, Alt and Grave. Here. There we go. I am now back in my uh, email buddy. Here are multiple files, blank, Alexander Belmar. At the beginning of it, that's fantastic. By the way, note that some other commands of JAWS exist if you want to use them in Outlook, especially for those who are subscribed to mailing lists. A command uh, allows to uh, easily uh, reply to the sender of an email instead of replying to the mailing list itself. Anyway, just saying, use insert H or JAWS key plus H if you want to access this list of commands. I'm in my uh, email buddy, then if I want to uh, find out attached files, let me use insert A. CCE underline 2020021614405101.pdf underline 1440501 underline 0001.pdf923 kilobytes, one of five attachments button. Okay, so here I have five attachment. The first one is a weird name. Anyway, I don't care. Then if I want to find uh, the other ones, then I can just use the right arrow. Regex.txt1. Regex. B1 LK9 plus PLS-S.P. Stolen dance left parent originally performed by Milky Chance dash instrumental. Water Apple Estate Attachment E. Well, okay, yeah, and this one is a, a French uh, file name. Anyways, don't care about it. Well, uh, on, a, on an attachment. Stolen Dance Left Parent. Let me uh, take out the Stolen Dance, whatever. I can either just press Enter. If you want to open it, you enter. can just press Enter and it should work. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. So the Alt MP3 got open. I will press Alt Stolen Dance. Just preventing uh, playing that one. And uh, so that's the exact same behavior for all files. For sure, if I want to save a particular file, I can use the uh, standard comments. So uh, let to me. To activate, press space. Stolen dance left parent originally performed by regex.txt 183. Let's say this one. I can call the context menu on it. Applications. Open. Preview. Preview. Open. O. I can open. Quick print. R. Quick print. Uh, okay. Save Fine. as. S. Save as. It's going to be uh, comparable to the Save As dialog in Word. So you'll have to uh, find out the location where you'd like to save this file. And um, then uh, you'll be able to validate it. And save all attachments dot dot dot. Save all attachments. So if you prefer to save all attachments in a desired folder, in a specific desired folder, then you'll have the possibility to do it as well. Uh, instead of selecting a file, you'll have to select a folder, but this is quite similar to what uh, you'll find out uh, in uh, the previous podcast episode with the open and save dialog. Let me go down. Upload, check, again. submit, upload. Yeah. Upload. These are two options. In the case you're using OneDrive, uh, you can upload them uh, directly on OneDrive. Remove drive. attachment. V. Remove attachment. Yes, uh, you can destroy an attachment from an email. This is not something I'll recommend, especially for an email you received. Copy C, and yes, copies here. Select all L. Interesting. Select Preview. all P, and we're back at the top of the context menu. So let me go out of there by pressing the escape key. Escape. Leaving menus. Here are some attachments for the I'm podcast. Not, I'm not gonna cover the uh, save has dialog as well as the save all attachment, but again, let. See, I'm just going to press insert tab to uh, check where my focus is. Regex.txt 183. All right, so still on the regex.txt file. Let's say I want to save it at the root of my OneDrive. My OneDrive is still open, right? So let me press Control C in order to copy the attachment. Copied selection to clipboard. There we go. Pressing Alt tab. Inbox tab. Alt tab. OneDrive. Items view multi select list box. Can I Perfect, and then um, I'll press Control V. Pasted from clipboard. Regex.txt. So now in my OneDrive. Status. Canadian. Regex.txt. I have the Regex.txt that is 
already there and uh, for sure you can do exactly the same with another file you'd like to place in a different folder so instead of using like uh, save as for each files you can just do some copy paste copy paste copy paste and everything should work as expected and uh, similarly uh, don't forget that Let's see, I'm just going to press Regex. Alt tab. You cannot select uh, consecutive files or uh, let's see, uh, more than one file except if you select all. As far as I know, it seems that there is no way to do so. It's a bit strange anyway, but they may really improve that. But well, uh, I can uh, do the uh, copy paste on an individual file. I can do it on all files by pressing Ctrl A, which will allow me to select them all and copy all of them at the exact same place. So let's say I want to uh, copy them all. Let me press Ctrl A. B1 LK. Okay, Ctrl C. Copied selection. To then Alt tab. tab into my OneDrive. Items view multi. For sure, I can select another folder. Title is OneDrive. But let me. Uh, Paste them. Paste here. it from clipboard. Copy file dialog. There is already a file oh. with the same name in this location. Click the file you want to keep. Cancel button tab. Uh, Cancel button tab. On. Don't copy. Shift tab. Copy and replace button. Copy Space. And replace. One drive. Okay, Items view. Yeah, it's only B1 because uh, I've uh, previously copied the uh, regex.txt file. Really don't care about. So if I press F5 to refresh my F5. window, I there we Items go. Items home. Um, can a dialog Here's one of seven dialog. B1 LK9 plus PLs. Here's one of the attachments. CCE underline the second one. Cop regex.txt. The regex. Stolen dance left print. The stolen dance. Water apple estate attachment. And the uh, file name with a French name. Stolen dance left print originally performed. And let's see Enter. if I click the stolen dance, it should work. We'll see directly from OneDrive. Here, here we go. Alt F4. Let me press Alt F4. Fantastic. Then uh, here I can uh, also uh, close my OneDrive. Alt F4. Perfect. Uh, Water Apple Estate Attachment. Okay, I guess I'm back in my email. Title is, here are some attachments for the podcast dash message left paren HTML right paren. All right, so I confirmed that by pressing insert T, pressing escape to go out of this email. Escape. Inbox dash can a dialog dash outlook. I am now back in my inbox. And, well, the next thing I'd like to focus on is the uh, search functionality the arrange menu and maybe I'll talk a bit about the filter options but I'm not going to cover this one knowing that this is more difficult compared to the uh, search option. There's also a sort dialog in Outlook however I'm not going to cover this one because this one is more complex compared to the arrange menu but anyway it's also available. Well what is nice with the arrange menu, especially if you try to filter your email by senders, then you'll have the possibility directly within your inbox to just go ahead and type in the first letter of the person's name. So you'll have the possibility this way to search for emails from a specific person. This is not a search because let's say that I'm uh, getting emails from Jack Brown. Um, well, uh, if the person sent out some emails Jack space Brown, but some are sent out Brown comma space Jack, you know, Brown Jack, then, you know, uh, uh, you're not going to be able to find them all compared to the search algorithm because using the first letter in navigation you'll have to search into brown b-r-o and some under jack g-a-c-k and uh, so it's going to be a bit different but anyway this is a feature that i like to use sometime personally and i'd like to show you as well i'm in my inbox At my Attachment, Alexander Belmar. Then let me unselect emails by pressing Control and space bar. Control space. Then I will call my context menu, application key. Applications. To navigate, press up or down arrow. Menu. To move through items, press up or down arrow. A. Arrange by check submenu. Arrange by, here it is. Uh, it's in the same menu we've uh, uncheck the uh, group by. So uh, let me open this menu. So right arrow. 
Leaving menus. Arrange by list box. Date button selected. And now uh, emails are arranged by date. So if I want to arrange them by something else, this is a grid so I can navigate using arrow keys. From button to button. Size button to button. Okay, so let from me organize them by from. So I will click this. Enter. Inbox dash Canadian log dash outlook. List box. Attachment. Alexander Belmar. There it is. So if I go up, it seems to be the first one. Replied. Alexander Belmar. Alexander Belmar. Co so Attachment. So all emails from unread. Alex are there. Unread. Canadian. And then unread. Canadian Cornell. Lang. Equip Google. Unread. Fred. Uh, unread. Free freedoms. You know, so they are all there. So let's see if I press Y for YouTube. Y. Unread. YouTube. Unread. YouTube. And then if I go unread. down. Unread. YouTube. Unread. YouTube. Blah, blah, blah. They are all there. And then if I want to quickly find Alex, A L. A L. Oh, Replied. yeah, because they don't, they don't need A, sorry. But Attachment. if I'm moving. Alexander Belmar. Here they are. So uh, I can uh, quickly find some uh, emails by just typing the uh, first letter of the person's name. Then uh, let me unselect Control space. again. Then call back the context menu. I will menu. reorganize them by date. Arrange by so checks. Arrange. Enter. Pressing Leaving enter. menus. Arrange by Let from button select. Down. Date button. Whoops. Go up. Menu. Leaving menus. Arrange by list box. Date button. Enter. Perfect. Clicking on date. List However, box. However, please Attach pay attention to something. If I go at the top of the list, so with the home key. Home. Alexander Belmar. Here is some attack. Well, it seems that uh, they got filtered by uh, the most recent email at the top and the older one at the end. So we'll just have to go again. If you want this, uh, like to invert the order as personally I prefer, but this is my own choice. Anyway, Upper ribbon, I'll have to ribbon, go into home tab, the menu, just... selecting view tab, view using right arrow, menu, going down. Change view. And tab, pressing tab, tab couple of arrange times. by sub menu tab, tab again. reverse sort button and reverse sort space by. leaving menus there it leaving is. ribbons list box attachment so, Alexander um, Belmar now the um, uh, order has been reversed so if home. I press home, YouTube Alexander Belmar has subscribed to you on YouTube Perfect. Friday 2006 and then if I press the hand key and attachment Alexander Belmar here are some attachments for the podcast here we go now let's talk a bit about searching. Different uh, search uh, options exist. The standard search, the way this function works, you just need to press Ctrl E or F3, then type in your search criteria and then pressing enter. This will search in the uh, current mailbox and uh, whatever you'll be typing, it's going to be uh, searching into the uh, subject, the email body, to field, from field, CC fields, etc. And uh, yes, after just typing in your terms, you can press the enter key. And once you're done browsing the search results, you can just press the escape key. Knowing this search is too much general and will probably return a lot of unwanted results, this is really not what I want to suggest to you and this is not what I'm using myself. Personally, I really prefer the advanced search that you can launch by pressing Ctrl Shift F and this one will allow you to search in the current mailbox where the focus is and uh, personally I prefer that. So uh, let me press Control Shift F and I'll show you the different options there. Control Shift F, combo box advanced find, search for the word left parenthesis right paren colon edit combo. So right here I can uh, type any specific or multiple words and uh, these will be search. Tab. Let me press tab. In colon edit combo, subject field only. To set the so I have the choice between subject fields only. Subject field and message body. Subject fields and message body. Frequently dash used text fields. Frequently used text fields. Uh, I think this is uh, more than just the message body in the subject. Subject, subject field only. Let uh, me uh, put it uh, subject field only because maybe we can uh, cover something uh, different. Tab from uh, dot 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 button to act from. This is a button allowing to uh, select uh, someone from your contact list. But if you don't want to do this, tab. press tab again. From colon edit. Type in text. From colon edit, then you can type the full name of the person, a part of uh, the name of this person, uh, email address as well. So the choice is yours. So uh, just for fun, 
Uh, we'll type in here YouTube. Y U T U B E. And let me uh, get back. Shift tab. To shift from tab. the shift tab. In colon edit combo. Subject field only. Subject shift field, tab. Yes. Search for the word left parenthesis right parenthesis colon edit combo. Let me put there Alex. A E X. So Alex. Searching in the uh, subject field. I'm just gonna put Alex, tab. and we'll see what's gonna happen. In colon edit combo. Tab. From dot 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 button. Tab. From colon edit. YouTube. Tab. Send to dot 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 button. To send to, so uh, you can uh, put a uh, specific uh, recipient. Tab. Send to colon edit. Tab. Where I am colon checked box not checked. To check. Tab. Time colon edit combo. None. To specific time. You know, like where I am. I think it's where I'm uh, mentioned or something like where I am in the email, not where I am uh, based on the, the the mailbox. You know. Tab. Messages tab to switch pages. Then press yes, we can search for something else than messages. Tab again. Tab. Look for colon combo box messages. So uh, again, different categories of options because we're looking for emails here. I'll let you explore by yourself. Tab. Sent colon read only edit inbox. Use your reading key. Okay. Tab. Then the folder and Browse here. Browse dot 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 button uh, to activate. You can uh, change uh, the folder where you'd like to search. Tab. Find now button. Here is the Find Now button. Let me click it. Stop button. All to right. activate, press spacebar. Alt plus N. Okay, and after a while, if you press Insert tab. Find Now button. We're now back with the Find Now button. So, uh, meaning that the, the search has completed. If you want to view the results, just press F6. F6. List box. YouTube Alex. Okay, I'm just going to mute it because uh, this is an email from uh, a YouTube notification saying that uh, someone else has subscribed to us on YouTube and I don't want to have this uh, name pronounced. Then YouTube Alexander Bellamer has subscribed to you on YouTube 2016 10 21 11 kilobytes in folder inbox. And this is the second one, meaning that uh, uh, two results has been found. Uh, so this is it. And then if I go down, nothing. If I go YouTube. up, then up again, no, nothing. So two emails were found. So that's nice, YouTube and Alex. This is exactly what I was looking for. So uh, to go out of there, because this is a search, we'll have to press the escape key. Escape. List box, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft. And uh, and then I am back in my inbox. Let me press the hand key to go to my uh, first email. And in the attachment, list. Alexander Bell. Like not the first email in the list, but the most recent one. There we go. And uh, compared to the filter options, this is quietly similar. You can call the uh, filter option in the inbox context menu by unselecting all emails, then uh, pressing the application or shift F10. You'll see that this is uh, quietly similar, except that if you turn on a filter, this one will be active until you'll turn it off. So if you uh, forgot to do so, then uh, you'll be stuck with the filter. And to clear a filter, you'll have to go ahead again in the inbox context menu by first on selecting all emails, then go again into uh, filters. Then you'll have to erase all the values, then reset that. And so this is a bit more complex. So that's why I prefer really to show you the advanced search that as a reminder, you can launch by pressing Control Shift F. Well, I think this is it for this first podcast on Outlook. I hope these tips and tricks were helpful. Again, please do not hesitate to let us know if you have some other things you'd like to share with us. You'll find all our contact details in a short while. And this was Alexandre Benma, and I was really happy to be with you today. And we'll talk together in another podcast. Bye for now. Before ending this podcast, we would like to thank you for your loyalty to this series of podcasts on assistive technologies. We would also like to thank our loyal collaborators. As a reminder, I would like to inform you that Canadialog will not offer free technical support on product presented during these shows and that are not sold directly by Canadialog. Note 
that Kinney Dialogue offers private or group training as well as technical assistance services Bill on an hourly basis, contact us to get a quote adapted to your need or to find out more. Our podcasts are available on several popular platforms as on iTunes, Google Podcast, YouTube, TuneIn, Victor, etc. Visit our website accessible at kennydialogue.com, C-A-N-A-D-I-A-L-O-G.com for more details. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments related to this podcast series, please contact us by email at podcast with an S at kennydialogue.com. That is P-O-D-C-A-S-T-S at C-A-N-A-D-I-A-L-O-G dot com. You can also reach us by phone on our toll-free number at 1-888-730-0003, extension 555. Feel free to check out Kenny Dialogue on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening.